Seven moves back and falls scarcely past square leg. So this is cricket. Victory to the Australians by eight wickets. He's I can picture my late father as a lad of about 13 standing at the Adelaide Oval's picket fence adjacent to the cricketer's entrance gate asking for autographs of his heroes as they left the playing field. My father's first introduction to cricket prior to seeing it in person would have been via the radio as is presented here by Alan McGilvray. It's a short ball, Brabham moves back and pulls scarcely past square leg. Hutton running around from deep fine leg has no chance as the ball goes under the rope for another four. That's four more to Brabham, taking his score to 97, a typical Brabham shot, giving the fieldsman no chance of saving the boundary. My father loved his test cricket from an early age and his love and respect for it has passed on to me. This autograph book is a treasured keepsake and I have taken great pride in adding to my father's original efforts. The autograph book doesn't just possess signatures of renowned tests and state cricketers, but represents the love, respect and care it took to obtain them. Consider the book has been in the possession of all of these signatories, including Sir Don Bradman. In 2002, when the New Zealand team were touring Australia and were in Adelaide, I arranged to have the book taken into the cricketers' changing rooms. On this occasion, I obtained Stephen Fleming, the New Zealand captain, and Jeff Crow, along with Stephen War, the Australian captain, and the late and great Shane Warne signatures. The book was greeted by all cricketers with great interest as it was handed around the respective rooms. They reportedly appreciated its history and relevance today. <laughs>